grazie per essere tornati al laboratorio di pratiche sociali, siamo alla, eh, addirittura ad arrivo, mancano tre, lezioni, tre giornate alla conclusione del, del percorso e oggi siamo con Maria Mordin e Zia Barsemiglia. Maria è direttrice di Consogni, un'organizzazione molto interessante che si trova a Bilbao e stamattina ci parlerà delle dinamiche legate alla produzione eh, nel, nel sistema dell'arte. Eh, ci ha portato una serie di pubblicazioni, vi invito a, a consultarle e ehm, insomma la mattinata avrà sia un risvolto teorico che un molto, molto pratico. Grazie mille, eh, Grazie mille. Eh, buongiorno Bari. <ride> Um, grazie Bessel eh, per l'invitazione. Eh, thank you very much uh, for being here. I'm really happy it's my second time in here in, in Bari and with you with Bessel and uh, and I was saying to Anna uh, last uh, night that I was really happy the first time that I was here and it was really inspiring for me. So somehow I think I'm really um Uh, I mean, what I have organized for today has to be, has uh, a relation with uh, the last time that I was here. Because there were people that they were asking not only theory but also some practical samples. So my idea today is to begin with, uh, with a theory. Uh, what is the theory that is behind the, the work that we do in Consoni? to end uh, with really a practical uh, situations. Uh, I mean, sharing some tools that we use as, uh, as a contract, for instance. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, I want to introduce, I mean, uh, Consoni is a contemporary, uh, a, pro a, a producer organization, and nowadays in contemporary art is not so common to to use this, um, uh, this name, this idea of a producer organization. Actually, we have uh, huge problems because people doesn't understand exactly what it means. And that's why we started in 2010 a project that is called um, Birth and Ornithologist at the same time. That, um, that is a research uh, project that uh, that is trying to analyze what means production now nowadays. So the, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about the project, but I would like to, to start for, for more um, a general perspective, the, uh, the, the text of, of Walter Benjamin, author as producer. That is one text that for us is really uh, is, uh, somehow an answer or, or I don't know if, if it's an answer, but it, it is uh, a way to, to, to make a lot of questions. What means nowadays to, to work in uh, and use the concept of production? So I don't know if you know a lot the text of Benjamin, do you know? So may, maybe I can, do, do you want me to talk about the text or yeah. yes? Or, or you're like, no, again? That's so <laughs> boring. Uh, I, sorry? For the streaming. Ah, for the public. Ah, okay. For, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe I have to drink coffee. Even I don't drink coffee, but... Uh, uh, yeah, it's true. Hello, people. Not only Barry. <laughs> Hello, mom. Maybe you are listening to me. Hola, ma. Um, so, um, I want to... I, I, I want to contextualize a little bit the text, uh, and we can, I mean, we, we can talk together. If you want to inter uh, interrupt me, please, and we can make it more uh, informal or more in a conversation way. Um, uh, I don't know if you, uh, I think it's really interesting to contextualize the text of uh, Benjamin. It was 1934 that he was supposed to give a talk Uh, but uh, and the text is it was supposed that I mean, it was a talk that it was supposed to to give, but finally it was not uh, a real conference. So finally we have this text, but uh, it was the result of um, of this uh, failure talk. Um, um, 
but uh, the text, this author has produced her text, and then the the, the other one, the the one about uh, 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 la obra en la era de la reproductibilidad mecánica, that in English is um, uh, how is the, in English the name of the the work of art in the age of mechanical reproduction. Yes, so. Um, these two texts are really uh, important and, and in contemporary art are really used and, and nowadays more. I mean, in the, the, the last decades it's incredible how people we are using a lot uh, the text of Benjamin and how is we are <coughs> analyzing Benjamin in a political way because at the beginning the, it's really interesting how not only the text, uh, how it was bright, written by, by Benjamin, that it was... Um, Finally, it's a love story, this text, as all it is in life. Um, uh, I mean, uh, he's also saying in his text that the, the production relations are based on, on social relations, and, and, and it's true even in his text, because he was in love with Asia Lacy, Lacy or Lathi, I don't know, uh, and, and, and he decided, he, he met the, this woman that... He, she was from Russia, and she, he decided to go to Russia to, to meet her. And this is how he, an, uh, he began uh, analyzing the materialism, uh, historical materialism, and how he's really uh, begin involving in Marxism, uh, because love. So it's so beautiful. It finally, I mean, everything, yeah. Love is in the air. So, so it's interesting. I mean, I, I think this, how... This, this thing is important to, to analyze how it's really, finally, when we are talking about production, we are talking about human beings, and we are talking about our, all, also our feelings. So even this text of, of, uh, of Benjamin that is so important in, in this mat uh, historical materialism and is so important to analyze the conditions of production is somehow based in, 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 in a social rela relationship also. Uh, in Spain, the, the first translation that we have of this test is uh, is made by by Jesús. Uh, I'm always saying wrong. Jesús Palacio, Jesús Aguirre, Jesús Aguirre, and he was the uh, he was uh, the guy that was um, uh, uh, married to La Duquesa de Alba. Uh, so it's really interesting because the Duquesa Alba is totally related to the monarchy of Spain. So it means that the first time that we have a translation of this text in Spain, that it was in the 70s, it was, the translation was made by a guy that is connected to the monarchy. So you can imagine the translation is totally, I mean, the, the, the words that he's using um, are really... Um, uh, different if you compare with the, the later translation that is made in Mexico by Bolívar Echevarria, that he is obviously in the in the late 80s, I think it was in the late uh, 70s. Uh, obviously, the, the translation of Bolívar Echevarria is is based on a political. Um, way of uh, using the word, so when the, 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 the terminology that Jesus Aguirre is using and the terminology that Bolívar Echevarria is using in the translation, even the text is the same, it's absolutely different. And it's really amazing because he's talking about, and it's also interesting because Benjamin, he has this another text about the task of the translator, when he's talking about these issues. So it's... Yes, it's so interesting. I would really like to, to, to make Spiritism and invite Benjamin to, to analyze with him the translations of his own text because I think he will be really, really uh, amused with this situation, you know, how political has become the translations of Benjamin, how, um, uh, for instance, uh, we, we have made like... Um, and then the last, the last translation that we have is this one made by Abada. Uh, that um, yeah, now you know how it's organized my my computer, so you know how it's organized my brain and my. The, the name? Yes. This Mur or ah, this, my surname? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so, and it was really interesting how, uh, how the three texts, the three t translations are so different. This is the last one made by Abada, and this is more, um, this is, this text is more, um, how to say, more contemporary, more trying to, to be more, uh, more close to the original, but the others, the, the two others that I'm I'm looking for the the all the, because we have a, a document that could be interesting to share with you. Uh, maybe here. Um, no, what is? Mm, we, because we, we, together with Pablo Marte, we made a document that was really interesting. Where we have the the three, the three uh, texts together. So so we were comparing all the the, the texts and all the concepts, how they were becoming really different, and it was really um, inspiring to to see all the differences. How uh, one of the authors was using um, uh, even. They, they were wrong terms. I mean, th there is one moment that uh, Benjamin is talking about logocracy, and in some of the translations, logocracy has become democracy. And, and there is a, another mistake that is incredible. This mistake is really, I mean, wow. Uh, there is, uh, uh, Benjamin is talking about an example of, of the left uh, movement in that time that is Hiller. But in one of the translations, has become Hitler. So obviously, you are trying to understand how Hitler was uh, an important uh, figure for the left uh, movement in that time, when you are reading the the text of Benjamin. So, so it's really interesting how this text of Benjamin is not only the text that he has written, but is the text that finally we have received with the years, with the translations, with the people that has. You know, I mean, has put uh, her their ide ideology in the text. So, um, the text of uh, Benjamin, um, his, uh, his, the text is not written for for the right uh, movement. Is uh, I mean, is is a text that it was trying to criticize. Um, how criticize the, the 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 left intellectual? How is possible to 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 be an artist? Um, not only an artist, because he he was talking about the writer at the beginning. So how is possible to 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 be a writer? Um, and he was really trying to to begin with this kind of um, discussion that is really very common and nowadays is really important I think also to come with this discussion about how you can be really involved in, con in contemporary art, make uh, works uh, with quality and at the same time uh, trying to, to have a commitment. How, how you can resolve these kind of issues. And I think it's something that is really nowadays uh, with uh, many artists as Santiago Sierra or, or Nuria Goel, I mean, in, in, this, uh, in the Spanish uh, situation, but we can also talk with another international examples or Superflex. I mean, the, we, we have many, many examples nowadays where uh, Thomas Hirschhorn, I mean, many examples where, where it's really a tricky issue that he was talking about in 1934, but I think it's is now it's really important also to resolve how you how um, you can resolve this relationship be between quality and commitment, political and, and social commitment, and the quality of the work. How um, and also it, the, the, there is a moment when he says that uh, the most important question for him is uh, is he says. Instead, instead of asking what is the position of a work vis-a-vis -vis the productive relations of its time, does it underwrite these relations? Is it re reactionary or does it is a spare to overthrow them? Is it revolutionary? Instead of this question, 
if you don't understand my English, uh, you can write, I mean, you can read here if you want also, you can continue, no? It's okay? Okay. Uh, I can do it in Spanish, uh, it's better for me to read in Spanish, but instead of this question or at any rate before this question, I should like to propose a different one. Before I ask, this is a world position vis-a-vis -vis -vis the production relations of its time, I should like to ask, what is its position within them? So the real question for Benjamin, and I think the, the real question is, what is the position of a work within the production rela relations of its time? So this is something that for us is really important, and this is why I, I understand the concern uh, we, we work in this idea of, uh, of, of production, because uh, what is the po position of a work, what is the position of us, as, as, as curators, as art critics, and not only as artists, Thanks God for the light. Now it's better. Um, uh, I think it's, it's not only for 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 the no because Benjamin is also very messianic. It's not is is really met, me, materialist historical materialism, but at the same time he has this kind of uh, messianic relation with uh, his Jew tradition. So it's really good now to 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 thanks God and uh, you because of the light. Well, but no, I mean, I continue with this idea. I think it's really, really important to, to talk about what, to, to make this question that Benjamin was trying. What is the position of our work within the production relations of its time? What is our position within the production relations of our time? I mean, me as a producer, as a curator, uh, you as Bessel, uh, and, and you are, are, sorry, you are artists or artists? Both or you? No. no. Okay. So, so you as as a critic, creators, artists. I mean, I think uh, sometimes when we are talking about art and politics, it seems that that this question is only important and relevant for artists, and that and and that and sometimes it, it seems that the only people that has a really uh, like a, this kind of commitment is the artist, and it seems that we are safe of that. Uh, or, or, or maybe only when you are uh, talking about one issue and you are writing, but, but for me the thing is not what you are talking about, but, it, but how you are doing that. So this is this idea of the position. Where, what is your position in this chain, in this production chain? I think this is the, 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 the essential question that finally is going to modulate all the works. This is, I mean, the, this, this controversial is really easy to, to have with the Santiago Sierra's work, for instance, uh, that, uh, that is not only about what he's talking about, but what are the decisions that he's making. Sometimes they can, re, they can be really polemic, and they has become polemic. So, but I think this is something that we have to have in mind all the time, and all the decisions that you are uh, having when you are inviting someone, if you are paying, if you are not paying, uh, uh, what is the budget that you have? I mean, these kind of decisions that we are doing all the time in Consoni are really important. So, continuing with the um, with the text of uh, of Benjamin, he was talking about uh, two different uh, movements in that time, uh, according to the left intellectual uh, movement that it was the the act the, 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 the what he talks he he named as activism, and then the new objectivity. These two movements. Uh, <clears throat> The, 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 the first one, this uh, activism uh, situation, he was saying that could end in some kind of lawocracy, where there are going to be like this kind of uh, uh, the government of the spirit, uh, this kind of intellectual government. So this idea of finally you have uh, these smart people, that they are going to take the decisions, and obviously then the others are going to continue. So th this, he, he was a little bit afraid of this kind of situation, um, of, the, uh, of the intellectual. Also, I mean, we have to think that it was 1934, that obviously the, 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 the economical situation or the, the difference between the access to the, to the knowledge was different. Nowadays, uh, the, access to 
Do you not agree? Yeah, no. no, no, because you were doing like this. No, no, no. Uh, no I was thinking that only the word not like the digital era, no? That's why you saw this, uh, this face. No. No, because I, I mean, I agree that I'm not <laughs> totally agreeing either. I mean, obviously the, the, the situation has changed, but it's true that, I mean, the access to the knowledge is better and it's the first time in our human being that, uh, that uh, the, uh, uh, an alphabetism, uh, the, uh, an alphabetism that exists, yeah. that's good, uh, that an alphabetism is, uh, is in the worst position ever. So this is a reality, this is something that is true, that that, uh, uh, that uh, the access to the knowledge and to the education is the, uh, uh, we are in the moment that is, uh, is uh, better than ever in a, in a global situation, I mean. But it's true that there, there are still many, many uh, uh, different situations, obviously. But, uh, uh, and, and obviously it's not the same, I mean, and, and the, the, it's not the same if you have born in a, in a certain uh, family with, a, with, uh, with an economical issues, uh, uh, your access to, to, to the education is going to be less. That's obvious, I'm not saying that, uh, I mean, obviously I agree with that. But, but, but I think that um, in that time, or even now this can happen the same, this idea of the logocracy, this idea of the, of the some people that has the knowledge and, and they are going to keep the knowledge for them and they are going to only... Um, they, they are going to only share some things that they think that they are interesting, but not the others. Um, for him, it uh, was really important not only to try to, to fit the, uh, the, the production structure, but trying to transform. So this idea of trying to transform this, uh, I mean, that, that's... Real, this is in relation with another thing that I'm using, that I, I like to, to say a lot, that is Maria Ruido, an artist that we have been working with, she was uh, using a sentence, a famous sentence of uh, Godard, that it was, that is not enough to, to work in, uh, in political issues, but trying to do it in a political way. So this is what Benjamin was criticizing to this logocracy, to this activism, to this group of people. This idea of, okay, it's important to talk about how to, to, to transform the situation. It's important to, to be aware of, uh, of uh, what means nowadays what is happening, what is going on in, in Germany in the, in the 30s, that obviously it was the increasing of the fascism, it was a really, really important moment, it's crucial. Um, so obviously he said, oh, this is important, this is important to be aware of that, but this, but this is also important to see how we are doing that and how we, we can, as intellectuals, uh, what is our uh, responsibility as in intellectual in the society? So how we, we are able to transform this structure? And then it was this uh, another uh, new obje objectivity that he was a little bit also criticizing because he was saying that uh, the, the, the fight and the idea of the fight was using like a, like a convention. Uh, rather than a reality. So then he's using like examples. He's talking about Tretiakov, that he was uh, a writer, and he's also talking about poetry. He's talking about um, the journalism, and he's saying that uh, he's talking about the journalism in, in Russia. For him, he's totally fascinated with the Soviet uh, journalism and really influenced by the love that he feels to uh, uh, Asia. Um, it's so beautiful, right? That finally we, it's so related. I mean, politics, economics, and love. I mean, uh, even in a, in a text like the text of Benjamin, that is so uh, uh, I don't know how to, yeah, so based in this idea of uh, 
uh, so cold somehow. But when she's talking about Sergei Tretyakov uh, and, and he's talking about the type of being uh, this operative writer, that um, this operative writer, uh, it means that he, he was, for, for Benjamin, it was a really good example of someone that was really involved in society, that this guy decided to go to a farm and, and he was taking decisions together with the community and, 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 and he was sharing some tools that he has as an intellectual with the community. But at the same time, he was learning a lot by this community and, and he was... He was forced to learn about um, the, the, the seasons, uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, the fruits, the vegetables, many things that he, he didn't know. So to be really involved in this community, he was, he was uh, really forced to, to be in this, in this situation. Let's understand this uh, example of Tretiakov, I think, in a really romantical Way because I think this is the way that uh, Benjamin is is reading the the Tretiakov story. I mean, obviously we can be. Uh, I mean, could be really also difficult to to talk about this idea of of uh, that uh, thinking that the only way to be really involved in in politics nowadays is to go to a farm and to be involved in a community. Obviously, this is not what I'm saying, but I think it's interesting to to rescue this figure of, of Tretiakov that in the way that Benjamin is, is using and, and trying to understand uh, the example. Another example that he's doing all the time in, in the text is the, um, the example of, uh, that he's using in, the, in his text is Bertolt Brecht. And, uh, and, and, and the, the theater of Brecht for... for for um, Benjamin, the epic theater of, of uh, Brecht is another way of, of another huge example that uh, Benjamin says that is, tr uh, is using the reality as an experiment. And he's saying that finally this theater is not working with representation, but is showing real uh, situations to the public, is, is trying again to reveal uh, this, this uh, power relationships, to reveal this, this uh, production structure rather than make this kind of uh, reproduction. Um, so uh, um, Benjamin is talking about this kind of laboratory, the, uh, dramatic laboratory, that is, uh, and that I'm happy to be in another laboratory talking about this uh, former laboratory that, that Brecht was was talking about um, to, to, to try to work in his theater. Then, uh, at the same time, uh, there is another figure that even uh, uh, Benjamin is not talking about in, the, in his text, I, uh, for us, has been really relevant, and is Erwin Piscator. Piscator, in that time, was talking about uh, collective production. So, um, I think, I mean, in the way, the, so this, this, this text, the text of Benjamin and, uh, and then the, 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 the text of, the, of, uh, of uh, some text of, from Brecht and later also some text from Piscator has been somehow, even they are talking about theater and we are working in contemporary art, they has been really inspiring and really important to understand and to to try to analyze why we decided to continue with the idea of production, we as Consoni. Um, that I'm going to now, I mean, after uh, continue with the test of Benjamin, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, try to, to show you the influences of this text in the, in the way of working of Consoni. Um, uh, but uh, uh, also, um, for us, it has been so important this text that um, this text of Benjamin, because uh, Consoni began in, in 1996, and um, um, in that time it was not so common to talk about production in contemporary art. Um, Nowadays, there is more people that we are talking about production, but in that, mom in that <coughs> moment, it was not so common. So um, uh, years later, after being in many uh, biennials and uh, 
like document and people ask him, well, uh, are you an artist? No. Are you a creator? No. Aha. Uh -huh. So, I'm a producer. What? So, yeah. After being in this situation like many times, we decided that it was important to make this kind of research, trying to understand what it means to be a producer and how we are going to show to the people that we are producers. So we decided to, to make this kind of um, research that, um, that we call a bird and ornithologist at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, because actually, uh, I mean, as curator, one of, I, mean, I, I don't know if she was the first, but one, one, I mean, it was in the 90s when people was beginning uh, using the, the, the word of production. Um, Maria Lind was one of the curators that was using a lot, the, the, was beginning using a lot the concept of production. But even there are artists that they are talking, I mean, they are, some of the, the works, they, they, they are around this idea of production, then they are not so common with the world. Um, for instance, Martha Rosler. I mean, uh, this question, I mean, the, the concept of production is not really, no, it was not really, uh, it, it was in, the, in that moment, in the 90s, that it was beginning to use. But, uh, but it was really like uh, the first moment that, also because I think uh, production finally, um, this word production is coming to, it means to, to, uh, to have a, an input and then you are going to have an output. And this, this uh, moment uh, from the input to the output, this is the production moment, right? So uh, this is really, um, is close to the industrial uh, society, so it's not so. Um, uh, many years, I mean, when when we are talking about uh, the, the the different economy uh, uh, economical systems, uh, the production system and the production world has become really important. Once that the chain has become really complicated. And this is in the industrial society, obviously. So that's the moment that the production is becoming more and more important as a concept. So obviously, in contemporary art is coming later, and in culture is coming later. And what is happening with the production? That is coming with two different ways. And, because, and also, this, um, something that is not only contemporary, I mean, maybe you are not right with me. I mean, this is my theory, I mean, somehow. But, uh, but I mean, uh, um, for one hand, uh, production has this kind of, and this is happening today a lot, has this kind of way of understanding production as, um, as a, a tool really close to the neoliberal system. So it's a way of understanding production as, a, as a really close to the co uh, consume. So, um, and even there is this new word that is uh, prosumed, no? that is production and consume at the, at the same time. So we are really in this kind of society where we are prosumers. So when Benjamin was talking about author as producer, now we are consumers as producers and producers as consumers. I mean, we have become, we are in a society where we have totally become prosumers. So obviously production nowadays has become more important than protagonist to understand our society. But, but it's really important, I think, we don't have to forget this idea that Benjamin was using because I think sometimes we are forgetting that production has be, has, can be also really political. I don't think that is only, I mean, it's, that, it's like flexibility. I'm really angry with, with what, what is happening with the word of flexibility. Nowadays, it seems that fl to be flexible is a bad thing because in, in neoliberal system uh, has become this kind of, of, of exploitation with the employee, right? So, or employee or employer? N I never know what is employer. Employee. Con el empleado. 
employee. So with the exploitation with the employee, so because if you, if you are flexible, it means that you are going to have uh, uh, really bad conditions. But it's really bad because, because if we go to the origin of the idea of be flexible is really good. I mean, it, it means that we are not going to be in a re reificated uh, system. It means that we can change. It means so that that happens with production world also. That I think it has been kidnapped somehow with by the neoliberal system, and now we we think that production means this idea of constant consumism, this idea of produce, 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 and that we we must to have more and more and more, and and that production has to to be related to this idea of making something happen. But production is talking about the conditions of production. It's talking about revealing this, this, this structure of production. It's talking about what is behind. It's talking about how we understand um, the work and, and how we understand finally the, the, the social system. And so it's not, uh, it's not so clear that it's only related to this um, this neoliberal system. Actually, um, when we begin this research, that uh, the, 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 the is bird ornithologist or bird ornithologist, that idea provides uh, the title for this pro the title for this project from a quote by the artist Cabello Carcellier, what they use it to refer to their own practice. The expression is actually a critical appropriation the artist made for an, uh, or of an asser assertion by the Swedish artist and Sophie Siden, who declared that in the face of theory she felt like a bird up against ornithology. Siden's observation referred in turn to a famous phrase coined by artist Barney Newman, who said in the 50s that aesthetics is for artists what ornithology is for birds. So whilst we share the opinion of artist Cabello Carcellier that the line between investigation theory and praxis in contemporary artistic practices is diffused, the title in itself is a reproduction chain of appropriated, shared, and propagated ideas. So this work has come into being through concerning actual work in practice. The intention is not to carry out an exhaustive or sociological investigation from a specific distance, but to focus for the approach through one's own practice and the different working moments concerning is involved, be involved in. So we have been in residences in many different places. We have been in Matadero in Madrid, in Angar in Barcelona, in ESP in Stockholm. Also, I was like a, a guest curator in ICP in New York. And in those different contexts, we have met many different uh, uh, two questions. Two questions that uh, always the same. Two questions. Uh, hello. And that's um, and here this is the, the the blog where we are a little bit showing the different the residency that we have in Matadero or the and. Um, <coughs> And the uh, and the uh, and the questions that they have they have disappeared the questions okay they were supposed to be here but they are not uh, mm -hmm. well the question one of the question is what how you understand I mean I know the questions uh, perfectly but I wanted to show you here in the in the website but. Uh, uh, one of the questions was how you understand production. Uh, in relation with your own practice, the first one. And the second one was if you think that production is in relation with, um, with a domination system or if you think that production could be uh, in the opposite situation, could be uh, in relation with a um, subversion system. This idea, uh, again, with this, uh, these two... Uh, uh, ways of understanding production as uh, something that is uh, forcing you to be part of the system and forcing you if we are thinking in contemporary art when we are doing these questions um, for instance when we were in in ESPs uh, we were uh, making uh, the questions to many different people uh, um, uh, you're welcome um, 
we, we were making uh, these uh, questions to artists, to creators. Uh, uh, why is it not working? Uh, and uh, when we we were making these uh, these questions, obviously, I mean, it was not only for the for the. Um, Contemporary art people, but mostly yes, and uh, and this uh, uh, in these two questions, um, it was uh, most of the time it was really clear this idea of uh, hi, hey hi Andrea, hi, how are you? Nice you? Yeah, nice to see you too. Nice Look, uh, yeah. you are gonna recognize. Andrea, do you, do you recognize this apartment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really? Yes, actually, it's really funny because <laughs> this, was, this was in that moment, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really? <laughs> really? Oh, if you want, I can stop uh, my conference. We can talk about the different stories about the apartment of uh, Matadero. We can say hello to Manuela also. Um, so, there is more people that is coming or... Yes. Okay. Do you want to take a break? I'm, I'm fine. Okay. How much time should we miss? A lot. <laughs> yes. Yes, but no, I, I was asking I was asking if there was more people coming because I can a little bit connect with uh, with what I I said until now, but uh, not in our, I mean I'm not going to boring to the people that they were here from the beginning, but if you are okay that with okay, thank you. So yeah, I was uh, now I, I was in the Matadero residency, but uh, to, to, to end in this residency, I, w I was talking about the uh, text of Be Benjamin as a really important text, uh, that it has, um, it has been really important for the uh, way of working of Consoni. But um, I think that maybe I'm going to continue with the, with the research that I was explaining, and then I'm going to go back to the text. So you are going to, I mean, yes, I think it's going to be better. So um, what I was saying now, I, I was I was showing that uh, that we are doing a research about what means nowadays uh, production in contemporary art. This um, and this and that this is coming for from a project that is called. Uh, Beard, come ornithologist, or be, uh, that uh, that is this idea of um, uh, of being uh, uh, someone that is uh, being the one that is making a, uh, the investigation, and at the same time being the subject of the of the research itself. So being the the object and the subject at the same time. Um, so. Uh, this uh, the, 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 this idea of the being the bird and an ornithologist at the same time uh, it's it's important because we I was saying that uh, the origin of the of the research is when I, we were in many different uh, biennials or, or or international art situations where people was asking are you an artist are you a curator and the the answer was no uh, no so. And uh, and it was like I'm a producer, so uh, and when I was answering I'm a producer, there was always like a surprise. So that's why we decided to, that it was important to make this kind of research about what means production, what what means to be a producer nowadays, and. Um, uh, and we begin doing this research, uh, and I was explaining that we were doing some residences in Matadero, in Angar, in ESPs, 
and uh, also we, uh, uh, in New York, we were when I was a uh, guest curator in ICP, we were making some of the interviews there also. Uh, and uh, so, uh, in in these interviews, uh, we were asking to we were asking to the people the same two questions. And uh, one of the questions was, what is uh, production for you? And how you understand production from your own practice? This was the first one. And uh, the second one was um, how you understand, um, if you think that production was in relation with, uh, with a domination system of, if you think that production is it could be more like a, or could provide a situation of salvation to to be like a, uh, to empoderate. Uh, I mean, somehow use the production because uh, I, and I was talking about that how pro production concept nowadays has been somehow kidnapped by the neoliberalism uh, in the in the sense that uh, many people thinks that production is really in relation with this idea of produce, 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 uh, and also with the idea of consume, consumism. And I was talking also about the, the new concept that nowadays is really used, uh, this idea of the prosumer, the few, that we are prosumers, that we are producers and consumers at the same time. And the prosumer in contemporary art is even more relevant because, I mean, who is the public for the productions that we made in, in contemporary art? We are always the same. The, our public is, uh, is uh, we are also the, the, the producers all the time. No? I mean, in contemporary art, in, 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 and, and I don't think it's a problem. I mean, in this discussion that there are many people that it's always like this obsession that, oh, we have to go to the wider public and we have to try to, to, uh, to be... Uh, uh, more exciting to the people because the public has to. I mean, uh, yes, but uh, also I think it's important to be uh, together and to try to understand how, uh, how uh, uh, try to understand how to. Uh, we are really a community that that we are producers and consumers, and at the same time, it's not a problem. I think. But for me, the problem is this uh, way of understanding production, uh, like in a really uh, neoliberal way. And uh, and if we are going to the origin of the of the of the text of Benjamin, how he used production, and not only how he used production, because his base, his uh, use of production is based in the in the in the, uh, historical materialism in Marxism. Obviously, uh, you all know that uh, that Marx was using production in that sense. Also, he was talking on production in that in that sense that nowadays we can talk about this uh, new term also of, of uh, empowerment. I mean, production could be a way of going of of having this empower situation. So I think that we 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 have to be aware of that because if we are not aware of of this issue of production, if we are not aware that talking about production is talking about condition of production, we are losing something and someone is going to do uh, for us. So I think, and I was saying also that in relation with uh, art and politics, most of the times it, it, it seems that this question of, of art and politics uh, is something that we are asking the commitment more to the artist. But I was saying that I think it's really important as as our um, critics. I'm gonna say something, uh, you guys. You have been late, so please don't talk now. Yes, you both. I mean, you are sharing your mobiles. I mean, if you want, we can we can have a break. But I mean, okay, it's okay that you, I mean that uh, I mean I don't have a problem. But obviously, I. I don't know if you are not happy or if you are not interested in what I'm, what I'm saying, and totally understand. But uh, don't be here in that case. So um, I, I was saying that is uh, that I think it's important to 
I mean, I'm not angry at all, but you understand, no? Or not, maybe not. Uh, so, um, uh, I, I was saying that in, in this question of art and, 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 and politics, uh, I think that we, we, we as curator, producers, artists, whatever we are in this chain of uh, production, we have to be aware of these conditions. And, uh, and, and when I was, and at the beginning we were analyzing the text of, of Benjamin, and, and I was re uh, reading a, 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 a sentence that I think is really import important, and, and he is saying that uh, the, the real question for him is, uh, he said, I should like to ask, what is its position within them? What is the position of a work? within the production relation of its time. So this is the question that I was saying all the time that I think is really relevant. What is our positions as uh, contemporary artists, creators, uh, art critics, uh, whatever we are, producers? What is the position of the work that we are developing within the, the, the production relationship in our times? In, in, in our society. Uh, so what is the, 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 the position that we want to, <laughs> the position that we, that we want to, to face uh, nowadays? Uh, I think this is the relevant question. So it's not only to talk about art or politics, it means that we have to work in political issues, but it's also to do it politically. So trying to, to be aware of, of the conditions of production. And, and um, coming to, to, to the uh, analysis that I was showing about this uh, art uh, birth uh, as ornithologist, that I was talking about, this uh, research project that we have made uh, in Consoni, um, it's important to, um, to consider uh, this research that uh, for us was really important to, to, to think about the conditions of productions all the moment that we were working. So uh, we decided to make these uh, residencies, these questions to many people, trying to understand for, not only for us, but for many people what it means to be, um, to be uh, uh, in these situations of uh, production, but also asking to people like Adesk or many different artists, this is in Barcelona, and trying to understand, uh, in, the, in, the, in the case of Barcelona, for instance, the, with the huge crisis, economical crisis that we have, it's really important nowadays to talk about this kind of production. It's, it's really a, a certain point, I think, to, to, to answer this question. And not only think about, uh, for us, what it means and just that, but also trying to work with these different artists in that issues. Now, here we are, we are with Nuria Wall, that I think she's a really good example to talk. I mean, uh, we were at the beginning talking about Santa or Thomas Hirschhorn, or even Superflex, many artists, many examples that they are talking about art and politics, but, they, but how important it is to analyze uh, not only the, 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 the issues that they are talking, but what is their position? and the position of the world within this production relation of the time, and not only in the, in the, in the, uh, in the issues and the, in, the, um, the, in the issues that they are talking, but also the decisions that they are making later with the work. I mean, if they are going to be in a gallery, in the museum, or, I mean, with the Marcelo, Marcelo's Porcito, for instance, I was the, uh, the other day in Barcelona. We were talking a, a lot about talking about that because he 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 has for 30 years uh, again an exhibition in a gallery, in a commercial gallery. So that is Angels in Barcelona, and we were together uh, looking the, the, the. I mean, he was showing the exhibition to me, and and he was showing the different videos that they were there, and I was asking to him, and uh, because those videos they were talking about, uh, like in the most of the the words of Marcelo, talking a, a about uh, um, uh, uh, public demonstrations, uh, uh, talking about some communities that they are working in. in uh, in, in activism, so I was asking to him what happened if those videos, I mean, if one museum comes and um, bought this, this, 
these works or also the, the there is one of the, his last works uh, about the um, um, uh, I, like, the the uh, Spanish uh, civil war and uh, the, the some bombs that they have discovered uh, so um so obviously uh, he's aware of that and when I was asking that uh, it was because I, I knew that he was thinking about that because it's really relevant. You can't, I think you can't do this kind of works and then don't be thinking about what, will ha what is going to happen to this work in contemporary art system. <laughs> That's good. I was doing this... Uh, <laughs> For, to see if, if you were really listening to me. <laughs> so, yes, he was answering that uh, he was thinking to to use uh, the money, one part of the money, to I mean to to reproduce the videos in a series to give to the people that they were involved in the in the in the works uh, to give them like a tool to use those videos in different ways. So that means that b finally the video... Uh, the, so it's, it's, really, it's really interesting because that means that the, the, this video, in the moment that it's going to have a real success, because it's going to work like a, a work in the museum, that is going to legitim be legitimized somehow uh, because it, it has been bought, in that moment is going to also disappear this aura of, uh, of the world because it's going to become a series. It's going to be reproductive. That is really interesting if we focus on Benjamin again because this is what Benjamin is talking about all the time when he's talking about this, this loss of the... What, what I say? Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of what happens if it's bought by a private collection. That is not that letting him do that, or yeah, for example, or by a private collection which has completely different ethical uh, position than <coughs> yeah, like because if it's a museum, it's it's easier. I mean, I think it's a very good idea of him, but uh, I think it's a good system. But uh, I'm I'm thinking, how would he feel if if, if you know, like if the shape from uh, Abu Dhabi was yeah. the the one. Yeah. I don't think it's very possible, but it, you know, it I don't think it will be possible, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I don't know, yeah, yeah I'm going to ask him, but yeah, yes. But I think that the system is quite uh, I think uh, at least is is is, uh, is 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 not the answer itself what interests me, I mean, is the, is the question that being aware of that, because something that it scares to me sometimes in this kind of works is when you are doing this question and and there is not an answer because that's the, for me that's the problem rather than the the question itself is that the, the, the I mean the answer itself is that the question it was not there so I think it's, it's important to be there and also using now the example of 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 uh, this is really wow yeah hi. Um, using the example of uh, Marcelo, um, uh, we have published this uh, this book uh, uh, that uh, I have came with uh, some of them. That if you want, uh, I mean, uh, I, I have came with different materials, uh, but uh, but and those are free, those not. <laughs> so, but. Uh, but those are more expensive. Those are eight euros. But uh, I mean, obviously, if you don't want to buy, you don't have to. But um, obviously, uh, that's stupid. I mean, this is so obvious. But um, but this 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 book. Uh, this is uh, one of the first results of our research because uh, we are not only doing this research, these uh, residences in different places. We we are also. Uh, inviting artists to make some projects that they are going to talk about these um, these questions that that uh, Benjamin is facing in in his essay, um, but not only um, not only in the 
in uh, in the way that uh, that uh, that Benjamin was saying because in the case of um, in the case of Benjamin, when he's talking about the uh, case of uh, Sergei Tretiakov that we were talking before, or in the case of Brecht, then it's really interesting how uh, Mark has, uh, he has this essay that, uh, that studies the, the text of, of Benjamin, and, and, and he makes these three different stories. Uh, about so this is a re-reading of the Benjamin original text, and, and Marcelo Esposito is doing this kind of uh, a re-reading. He's he's using the the idea of productivism of uh, Benjamin. is analyzing the case of Sergei Tretiakov. How is the way that Benjamin Benjamin is talking about him, and also is uh, is putting different examples. Uh, for Marcelo, it's really important. He's saying that sometimes it's missing when, when people is analyzing the text of Benjamin, he's missing the, the uses of examples. For him, it's really important. Not only to talk about the, the, the theory that is appearing there, but also to talk about the, the, uh, the, the examples that he is using. Uh, the case of Benjamin, the case of Rex. So his uh, Marcelo is coming with another examples also, and and uh, like the um, he's talking about one uh, one, fi one film by Joris Ivans that uh, that uh, this film was was supposed to 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 record a, a, a demonstration, but the demonstration was a fake. I mean he, they were doing this demonstration to, to, to make a documentary. But when they were doing this, de this fake demonstration, what, that, uh, they do, it was in the 80s. I don't remember if it was in Paris or do you know? Or, no. So uh, when they were doing this fake demonstration, what happened is finally that this demonstration was becoming real. Because many people that they didn't know that it was fake, that it was, uh, they, they were coming, they were being part of the demonstration, and finally the police was going there, and I mean, it was ending in a really violent situation. So finally, I mean, uh, Marcelo is using this, uh, this example about, uh, uh, to, t to talk about this, this question of representation or reality that also Benjamin is talking a lot in his text when he's ending with the example of Recht that I was saying before this idea of trying to use the reality as an experiment. But not in this way that in the 90s was really common also this idea of the art trying to be involved in reality. I don't believe in that at all. I mean, I don't think that we can be able to be out of reality. Come on, I mean, we are... <laughs> but I, I think this is a, 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 the fiction is that, to think that reality is outside of contemporary art. Obviously, I think that we are taught, I mean, there is nothing that is outside there that is reality and we are in contemporary art that is our world. Oh my, I think it's totally involved, but it's true that in the way of working their representation, you can do it in many different ways. And the examples that Marcelo is using in this text are these kind of situations where rather than work with representation I are, are, are working with this idea of using reality as an experiment. This case of this film of, um, uh, of Ivan is an, an example. Then he is using a lot also of the um, many examples of uh, Lisiski and, uh, and the the Soviet uh, constructivism, because also is related with, uh, with the text of Benjamin. Again, this idea of uh, yeah, I mean, it's really important, it's really relevant to talk about. Also, because when when Benjamin um, was running from uh, Germany, it's not really clear where he was going because he has these uh, friends. Um, Adorno and Jorge Mer, that they were in Munich and they were asking him to go to to go there, but it seems that it was not so clear that he got all the papers to 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 go there. And at the same time, Sher, uh, Sharon, uh, another friend, was was asking him to go to Palestine, to to Israel, to the new. Um, so I mean, it was this kind of 
of, of a really tricky situation where where Benjamin was not uh, he was in this I think it's really interesting to understand the text of Benjamin that he was totally in these two very different and antagonist um, way of thinking this messianism for one hand and for the uh, for the other hand, this um, materialism, uh, historical material, materialism, and this histor historical materialism that I was saying before was coming uh, in the format of love because he was in love with a Soviet Sovietic uh, communist uh, woman that was the one that was introducing him to the communism. So it's it's really beautiful, no? How how is everything so mixed and 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 also and, and finally so really related to the idea that Marcelo is tel is talking is taking in the text with the idea of the biopolitics that obviously is, is, is I mean when, when I'm talking uh, when I'm talking about this this love story of Benjamin somehow that obviously I don't know if it was true or not is is what people is talking is saying knows but, but what I like to talk about that is that is 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 making Benjamin a body uh, bless you is, is making Benjamin a, a, a body not only a, a brain that I think that is something that is really important also because sometimes when we are talking about art and politics also this kind of uh, of discussion again and uh, that is, is, is this idea of okay what are the issues that we want to talk about is important but when we are talking about how we are going to face those issues is when we are becoming bodies when we are becoming human beings, when you are really, really facing with reality, ¿cómo se dice colonia? Colonia, no, pero colonia de colonia. De perfume, okay. Well, uh, Viviana, yes, yes. Um, I'm not familiar with the reading of Marcelo Esposito about Benjamin, so maybe this question is totally out of place, but. Um, for me, Marcel Esposito is one of the best artists that can really formalize the passage between the material collection to the immaterial production. Uh, above all, in the video that he's talking, it's called Your Mind, yeah. um, about his transition of the fiat production of the car uh, and the yeah. place yeah. where the fiat are produced in Turin, yeah. and the Lingotto, which now is a place for fairs and yeah. for meetings yeah. for like businessmen. Yeah. In which you have this immaterial production in the sense that you are sharing knowledge more than sharing goods, uh, yeah. material goods. So I'm, I'm wondering what is his position in analyzing the idea of production in Benjamin. So how far is extending the concept of production as material and immaterial production, which for him it seems like a very fundamental passage. He, he's using three stories. The, the first one is the, uh, what, what he, or the three uh, different he he says stories, so uh, the first one is this. Um, uh, do you want to open one and you can? Yeah, and and uh, uh, in 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 one in the first part that he's talking about Benjamin uh, product, uh, as productivism, he's talking about more um, in concrete in the these those examples that uh, Benjamin is talking. But then he's talking about this constructivism, um, Soviet constructivism, and the last story he's talking about the um, the uh, the campaign that it was made uh, in the 80s uh, with the AIDS, uh, uh, the, the 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 campaign that it was made in New York City, actually. Um, uh, by the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power, ACT UP, founded in New York in March 1987. So uh, he's talking a, a lot, uh, talking ab uh, a lot about ACT UP, um, and the and the and how so many artists they were involved in those in this campaign, uh, uh, talking about AIDS. That there is one moment that he's showing uh, like. Uh, Different uh, uh, carteles, uh, posters, different posters that, uh, and, and this one they, they are saying, with uh, 40,000 dead, art is not enough. 
take collective direct action to end the AIDS crisis. So he is analyzing this poster. You, you, you have problems with that? Uh, <laughs> so he's, he's talking about this poster and he's analyzing the poster and he's saying art is not enough. In, it doesn't mean that art doesn't have to, to do nothing with, with this reality, but it's not enough. So he's talking about this, uh, this way of, of rather than a, a materiality, I think um, uh, he's talking about social relations that Benjamin is talking about. Uh, so in that case, obviously, he's talking about is immaterial because the social relations that they, they are in connection with, with uh, production uh, relations um, are immaterial. Actually, uh, in the text of, of Benjamin, there is one moment that uh, is saying social relations, as we know, are determined by production relations. So this is in the text of Benjamin, but this is used in a lot. This is used a lot in the te in the rereading of Marcelo Esposito. In this example, when he's talking about this uh, campaign of Act Up, people and the the, the 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 AIDS crisis, and he's talking about like the uh, collective uh, workshops. And I'm I'm really interested in this kind of uh, situations that they were doing before because I mean from the examples that Marcelo is is using also many many other I mean is using uh, work of Rodolfo Aguirre Berry Julio Flores and Guillermo Kessel with the models of La Plaza de Mayo he's using. Uh, uh, another an exa example that uh, the group uh, Nepas Pliero, I don't know how it's produced. Uh, Nepa Plier. Nepa Plier, that is a, is a group uh, formed in, in the early 90s that uh, they, were, they were in Paris uh, working with, uh, with uh, an association uh, uh, per, um, for the employment. Um, uh, the Association for the Employment, Information and Solidarity of the Unemployed and the Precarious. So this this group of uh, intellectuals, uh, again in terms of Benjamin, they were really involved with the uh, different uh, collectives, in that case with unemployed people. And Marcelo is using this example, he's, he's talking about what, what he calls the collaborative workshops, and in these collaborative workshops, uh, he says how uh, art and social movements are totally connected. And he says that, in the, firstly, it seems relevant to rethink the concept of expert in light of Walter Benjamin's revision of it in the author's producer. The solidarity between the expert and the proletariat, Benjamin pointed out, can only be mediated solidarity in order to put the tools and the knowledge that are inherent to specialized social tasks such as art at the service of social movement. The apparatus of production must be adapted. An idea that Benjamin borrows from the essay Radio as Means of Communication by Bertolt Brecht. So, obviously, when, when, the, when Marcelo is talking about uh, this... Uh, this collaborative, um, this collaborative workshop. He, he's talking about these relationships that they are together and this communication, communi communicative actions. So finally, this immateriality is there because it's not so important the result. And he's talking in one moment. He's saying it's not that the, this intellectual, this artist, has to become like uh, um, uh, like doing a, a marketing campaign for the employment people. It's not. That is more how all together can learn, and and and, and could be an exchange of different uh, issues. Um, so th this is uh, uh, this is the first uh, the, uh, the first one that we have published. But the idea is that we are going to publish like twenty <laughs> more. We we have invited uh, Gerald Rounin also to. To do another reading because they, they are, I mean, uh, and, and Gerald Rowling, maybe you know his website that is really interesting. I mean, this this website has been really um, inspiring for us. 
And actually, some of the people that they are here is some of the people that we are going to invite to those rare readings because we have discovered, and this is another thing, I mean, really in relation with the idea of the production, that we, you don't have to do new things all the time, but sometimes the only thing, the, the interesting thing is to, to, to see what is already done, and you can uh, make a collaboration with these people again. So, what we, uh, for instance, this text is not new. It's, it, this text was made in, uh, in the the first time, maybe 89, could be, I think. Or, on, uh, no, no, I don't know. Uh, and, and here it says a whole constellation of facts will seem to authorize us to think that the intellectual activism of Benjamin who seemed determined to incorporate an anti-positivist Marxism and take in account the practice of revolutionary intellectual and workers organization from the time he fell in love with ICL ISIS in 1924. So, um, uh, when, when uh, Marcelo was giving this talk in Chile, uh, we discovered this text that is in internet, and we, we told him to publish in this format. So we are going to have the first, uh, we are going to publish the original text of Benjamin, uh, the author as producer, and then some rare readings. This one is the first, the, but that we, uh, our idea is also to invite to Simon Seik, to Maria Lind, maybe, Boris Boudin, there are so many texts. Boris Boudin has an amazing text. Not, this text is good, but I like more another text that it was published in the Manifesta Journal. That, I love that text. So that text, I mean, is like, it's, it's like, um, it's like a, a theater situation. I mean, you have many different characters. You have the the artist, the curator, the art critics, and they are talking together in a, in the in a dinner after the exhibition. So finally, I mean, and who is paying the the, the wine? This is the, the, the finally the, the the most important thing in the conversation, and obviously is the 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 one that has the money. I mean, the, so actually, this is. So, so this is the, 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 the first one, but our idea is to, and, and if you are really poor people and you don't have money, but you want to have the text, we are going to publish also as ebook for four euros. So our idea is to, to really, if we are going to be aware of the conditions of production, we wanted this to be really cheap for the people. So that's why it's eight euros, four euros, or even the text of, the original text of, of, uh, of Marcelo is for free in the website. In his website. So, if you want to have the text, it's really easy to have it, even you don't want to pay for that. But if you want to pay, this is it. So, uh, not only doing this uh, exercise, I mean, we have made also another uh, another um, project that. Uh, we, we, we decided to invite uh, artists because in the way we are a producer organization and what what means? That means that we invite artists to produce projects and we try to do in the in the in the best way that we can and to be concerned about the the conditions of production all the time, trying to to pay honoraries uh, to the artists obviously, to have some contract, to work together uh, in the in the best conditions that we have that we can, even we are a non profit organization and we don't have uh, we don't have a funding uh, money so uh, a funding uh, budget that we, we, we all the all the money that we have is based on the project, so that means that we have to work a lot. <laughs> And to have the money, and, and the money is going to come always through the projects. So it's a really tricky situation that we never know. Uh, I mean, we we, uh, we found it in 1996, so it's uh, we have been working for many years, but we never know if we are going to survive more than six months. Uh, so. For us, even we continue with this research, and, and our idea is we have uh, recorded, video recorded all the interviews that we have made, and we have like 80 interviews, and our idea is to continue with these interviews, and we don't know exactly what is going to be the, 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 
the end uh, format of the, those interviews, but maybe we are we are thinking in making an a cross like a cross analysis. I mean, the people that w that it was interviewed maybe offer them the possibility to to analyze another people that it was interviewed. You understand? I mean, like. Uh, what are the best conditions for production? I'm just asking because I recently had an experience in, in Athens and what for them are the best conditions of production? For sure, I know for me and other people the best conditions of production. So could you say what is for Kontani the best conditions of production? That's a, that's a question because, I mean, um, hmm, hmm, the best conditions of production. Uh, the best conditions of production for Consoni. I'm not expecting that it's also connected with your context. No, totally, yeah. totally. No, let's let's do it. Uh, actually, I will. I'm, I'm looking. It's possible if we don't take any break, or you are gonna die if you don't. No? Okay. So. So. No, because I'm a zombie, you know. So I'm, I, I'm, I never. I have this kind of energy, never stopped. Yeah, I can be here like for 80, so. But uh, I, I want to, like, uh, maybe I, I'm going to, to explain a little bit. Uh, I'm going to ask a question and maybe only tell you where you can find more information about the project that we are doing, because I think it could be interesting to end with an, a practical exercise that I prepared, that it was to analyze a contract, a, a real contract. This is a contract that we have made with uh, Incon Sony. So, so I wanted to make an exercise with you uh, about this contract. Uh, I, I have delayed the names of the artists, obviously, and, and, and uh, <laughs> well, you, you can know. Who, yeah, you, you are going to discover for sure. I don't know the others, but you are going <laughs> to. But yeah, you are going, I know this one. But. Um, but uh, the, the oh, it was like I'm listening music now. Wow, I'm having an epiphany now. It's really so the conditions of production, the best conditions of production for Consoni, I'm going to answer in two different ways. One is uh, the best conditions for us as as a workers, as people working in Consoni, and then the best conditions for the artists. Because they are the two different things, that they are connected, but it's not the same. Because we have more uh, control with the conditions of the artists, because obviously we are providing that, that conditions to the artist, but then sometimes we lost the, the best conditions for us, because we are not in control, in, we are not in, you know? So, so because uh, obviously we are providing the conditions to the artists, but we, are, we, we will love to provide the conditions for us, but the reality is not. That finally we are really in, it depends of, of the money that we, we get all the time. So, uh, in the case of, of the artist, that is gonna be uh, an easier answer, um, we provide like uh, only for the ideation of the pro it depends because now we are working like in four different lines so one that the classical way of working of Consoni is inviting artists to to make a project in an open um, yeah in an open invitation so in this open invitation that means that has to be a new project and and, uh, and and really totally free the, the the issue the format everything, and in this case we pay uh, only for the ideation. Even the the project is not gonna happen uh, between one thousand or two thousand of euros only for the ideation. And then it depends on the budget. If the budget is increasing, the the honorarios are increasing, and I have to say that it's always increasing. In that in that case, uh, so it means that finally the artist has <coughs> could have uh, for a project that uh, for two years project something like uh, around uh, the minimum as two thousand euros and around six thousand seven thousand euros honoraries that just honoraries and then the production but it is. This is something that I think is really, really important. Not to, conf to make a confusion of the, of the honoraries and the production. That is something that I don't like. 
at all when this is doing. I mean, and, and 6,000 6, euros, it depends. Maybe it's not so much, or it depends. Uh, I mean, because, uh, but if you can, I discovered that we pay more honoraries for the artists in our project than the Guggenheim Museum. So when I discovered that, I thought, okay, so we are not doing, yes, Andrea. When the work is sold, for example, like if it's a work that's commissioned uh, by Consoni, how do you participate in the uh, conditions of consumerism? Yes, um, that's a good idea. Actually, it's not. Sorry to interrupt. No, 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 no. That's perfect, perfect. That's that's better. Uh, in that case, uh, it, it depends on the project also, but in the, in the most of the times. We have uh, a clausul, uh, a, cl a clause, a clause, or whatever, yeah, una clausula, uh, a clause, clause, uh, that uh, that says that um, the ten percent of the of the uh, of the amount has to go to Consoni. This ten percent must come if there is a gallery from the from the percentage of the gallery. Yes, and not from the percent of the artist. That's very low. That's very low, uh, but it's something. <laughs> I mean, until that's. There are some certain conditions that are just asking by the cost of production. So maybe you are selling the piece for thirty thousand, but the cost of production was one thousand. The foundation is getting back just one thousand. Mm -hmm. So ten percent can be much more than just the cost of production. Which will not include the fees. It's just the material cost of the, the materials mm -hmm. that okay. the foundation had to go. I mean, not the other right, right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So ten percent can be. Yeah, could be. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends. It depends. And also because it's. Um, I mean, obviously, when we 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 have ripped all the money to to make the project happens. We, we have got also some money for us, for Consoni. So that's why also we, we think that finally, and, and it's something that is new because when we, we produced the project of Andrea Fraser, for instance, uh, is one of the, of the pieces that is more known, more, more famous. I mean, Little Frank and His Carp is really, really a famous work of Andrea Fraser. And, uh, and, and uh, his, uh, her, her, her gallery in New York, is, uh, has sold this work a lot, and in that moment we didn't have this contract, so we didn't get anything. And that's something, and also uh, we have changed our way of working with the artist and with the works once the, the, the art work is done. Uh, it means that now, uh, for instance, with electrical art film, we, we have worked a lot with Maria Ruido uh, movie, uh, moving the moving the work and presenting the work in many film festivals. So finally, even the, the work it has, is not part of a collection in a museum. It has been shown in, in Reina Sofia, in Magba, uh, in London, in Moscow, in, in many places. And we, we have been uh, supporting Maria doing that. Um, uh, and also, uh, now I wanted to, to talk about uh, those two projects. Uh, this is Performer. This is an, uh, a project made by Cabello Carceller and, uh, and uh, that is part of this research about uh, conditions of production in contemporary art. That it was, um, uh, they are doing like, a, it's, it's a video that is uh, making uh, uh, is thinking about nowadays how some uh, ephemeral practices as performance could be part of uh, a collection of a museum. So finally, uh, the, the, uh, the, the video is uh, with irony, is made with many, uh, with irony, and finally the performer is becoming part of the collection. So she is, she is living in the museum, and, she, and she's, she, it's a video when she's explaining the, the, the conditions that she has in the museum, that she's okay, that it's, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's warm to be part of the collection of the museum because she's living there. So 
I don't know. Uh, I can show you a little bit uh, the, the video. Do you want to see something or not? Or Oh, ah, yes, you're right. Yeah. The, condition of, the condition of the artists are finished as well? Yes. Uh, somehow, I mean, m more about the conditions of the artists. Uh, for, for instance, in those cases with Pablo Marto and Cabello García, it was different because it was an invitation through, uh, in, in a really, in a certain space that it was, it was the, but for instance, we were saying, okay, the production will be 2,000 euros, only the production. And finally, it has become not in the, Pablo Marte case, but in the case of Cabello Carcedier, it has been like 20,000 euros. Or, but uh, we, we don't say no, we say, let's see if it's possible. So we, in the moment that we begin working, we begin asking money for everyone. And that's the way, so we try, we try to resolve and to, we try to, to give the best conditions, not only to the artist, but also to the project itself. Then we have some, uh, we are not perfect, and sometimes we do th things bad, and sometimes we, we, we give the contract to the artist very late, and I mean, no, we are not perfect at all. But we try all the time to do it uh, better and better, and, and try to, to, to resolve all, all the situations with the artist. So I think the best conditions is to, for one hand, ship, um, make a distinct, uh, distinction between honoraries and production for the artist, uh, and really clear, and also the condition, I mean, this kind of uh, travel, accommodations, this diet also different, so we have honoraries, diet, and the production. Then, uh, to have a contract, um, it's better to have at the beginning, <laughs> Uh, and in this contract is really important not only for them but also for us and also to, to because for us it's also really important that once the work is done that they are going to say and they are going to communicate that the producer was Consoni that is produced by Consoni because this is the problem that we have uh, not only us most of the people that we are work, working in production because it's really cool to say that the work was sound in in Magba, but uh, it seems that it's not so cool to say that it was produced by Bessel, that it was produced by Score, that it was produced by Situ that it was produced by. So I think that's why also I think that we have to put the, the importance that it has in the idea of production, because, because the one that is making the production is the one that is shaping also the world, that is making the conditions. And also, when, when this kind of, of discussions about uh, of the, um, the, the, the authorship and the, the rights to, to, to the, the percentage later on, that's, I mean, I, I, really, I really believe a lot in, 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 in open sources. We, we make all the publications under uh, Creative Commons or because I think that some of the time when, when uh, most of the times what people is talking in, in these issues of the of the this percentage of, of, of the, um, the rights of the, the authors is really tricky because it means many times it means that they, they were not paid before. So what we have to do what what we really have to do is to be aware of the conditions of production before. That's the question. I mean, the artist has to be paid before, and also the producer will have to be paid before. So, obviously, it's important the percentage later on for us. We have to have something, but we have to be concerned to be paid before, because when you are working for two years, obviously, I mean, the artist has to be paid and also us. So, I think the, the best conditions has to, to, to make this distinction between honoraries, diets, and, 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 uh, and uh, production. Have a contract and, and have a really a, 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 a dialectical relation and understand that the production, again, reading the, the sentence of Benjamin again, social relations, as we know, are determined by production relations. So obviously, to be aware of these conditions of production is gonna make uh, is gonna make an influence in the in the social relation that finally is really based on our, our work. To work in contemporary art is totally totally in connection with the production of affections in the production of social relationships. Um, this is my problem. 
not with what you are doing, generally speaking. Potentially, my reading of Benjamin Tax is very literal, and in my mind, social and affection is resonating with other sorts of conditions. So, of course, the money are relevant, the economical and financial, let's say, conditions, settings that are in place are relevant, but there are other, other sorts of uh, details, like, for instance, the consideration of working hours, the time frame, like even to tell to an artist, you have two years, can be, can be scary, can be too much, you know, or the love, the relationship that this person has got in order to produce a work maybe outside of his own house and in another place which is not familiar. The recreation of a familiar sort of scenario. So to create a home, but then to, to create a house for someone that has to produce outside for this sort of site-specific intervention. All, all these conditions, most of the time, are either not mentioned or ignored. Uh, and I think that somehow we are following more and more every day, and please don't get me wrong, it's not an acquisition towards mm -hmm. consoling us. We are, we are getting so obsessed because we are underpaid or unpaid in this field, that the neoliberal system is winning, because in the end of the day we are resonating as in business. In our rights are becoming more and more about money rather than human conditions, like for instance being hospitable towards something, to, to, to have like one of the principles hospitality or ethical behavior in this sort of exchange between producer and artist. I'm because, totally agree with you. Yeah, so I'm I totally agree. Uh, actually, <laughs> so <laughs> can I? No, 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 Viviana, you are totally, absolutely right. I think, and I, I think the, 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 you can criticize that in, in my answer, but not in the text of Benjamin, no, because no, no. I think, no, no, I think in the text of Benjamin, when he's talking about production, he's talking about all those issues at the same time. But it's true that in my, in my answer, I was talking more in economic, ah, shit, this is really annoying. Um, uh, sorry, uh, can, can I do like this? Um, I'm not Madonna anymore. Oh. Oh. Music. <laughs> so I think in my answer I was talking about is working. Yes. Uh, in my answer I was talking about economical conditions because most of the time we are losing that. But it's true what you are saying. It's not only about that. Obviously, in our case, it's really important if we decide. And sometimes we have. We had failed in that because you are so busy doing work and so busy. In, but it's, it's really important to, to go to the airport, to take the artist. To, for instance, we didn't have uh, a lot of money. Uh, as you know, our budget is not. But, uh, and we asked to the artists what they prefer, if they prefer to be in an apartment, or if they prefer to be in a hostel. Or, or the other option that we offered to them is to be in my own apartment. I don't know why, but all of them, they prefer to be in my own apartment. <laughs> so, so next week, uh, Black Tulip are coming to, to, to Bilbao, and they are going to be one week of research, and they are going to stay in my apartment. I have two rooms, so if you want, you are really welcome <laughs> to come. And, and they are going to stay uh, in, in my apartment. So, f and if it's not, we, we, we are always trying to see what is the best place where they can stay, uh, the idea of uh, trying to, to see where they can uh, have lunch and, and, and how to, to, to go with them. And, and also when we, we ha I mean, we have been uh, in this research of bird and ornithologists, we have been in so many residences that also we have discovered how people is working with us and how they are, they are yeah, finally, you see what they are the, the conditions and how people is behavior, the behavior of the people. So, obviously, uh, how they take care of you or not. So, obviously, you, you learn what do you like and what do you don't like, and you try to reproduce. But you're right. This is this is so, and and finally, we you you become friends, and then you have discussions, and it's and it's, I mean, with uh, Paulo and Gabriel Castellieri has been a really good pro project, uh, but at the same time a nightmare because we were all friends. So it's true that uh, when you have this kind of, if you fail in something, is wow, everything. Uh, 
I agree with you, but I think that one thing doesn't substitute the other. Yeah, I no, no, I think both of them have to be in place. For sure. Because for me, the problem in art is not that it, the second part that <laughs> you said, or this part that you said is not taken care of. For me, the problem is when that one can substitute the other one. You know, like right? when you say, well, you're not paid, but we have money, but you're not paid, but we are super nice with you. You know, that is for me the problem. Yeah, totally. For me, both of them are. are very, very necessary, and they cannot renounce to one in the name of the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'm, I'm not substituting, so and actually, I mean, it depends also on the, with the person you are talking to. Like I was mentioning before Athens, an, an artist was invited to the biennial, he is a teacher, he can provide everything. We offered something, he actually said, I don't want anything from you. I know the conditions that are in place, I will ask to my university. But I really need someone in place that can help me to navigate the city every day I'm there. So it depends also. Yeah, totally. It, it happens to us with Maria Guido. We were <coughs> offering to her some honoraries and she said, no, that's too much. Where you are going? I mean, no. <laughs> we <were> like, eh? <laughs> So sometimes it happens, too. it's true, so it depends on uh, who you have uh, in front of, obviously, and also it's, for me it's the same, I'm not asking the same uh, to you that uh, to the one if they invited me to make a, to give a lecture, obviously the context is really, to, and, and the conditions, the best conditions for us is really, is maybe more difficult because for us, uh, would be to, to, to have uh, an instability, I mean, to know that we are going to have uh, this kind of funding uh, budget for the structure and not only everything based on the projects. That's what is really uh, becoming like a stress, no? I mean, it's like I, I'm for 14 years working in Consoni and it's like all the time uh, the same. I'm, I'm not uh, anymore, yeah, I'm not uh, crying December, but uh, until the Three years, I was all the December crying, <laughs> like, oh my God, we are not going to survive. But, and finally, it's 14 years, so obviously, but this is the question, and I think that it's important to be really involved also in the, in the culture politics of the context. That's something that I'm going to talk tomorrow. That I think is not only when we are talking about the social engaged practices, it's not only, again, it's not only about, about the content, but it's also how you are doing. So I think that it's important not only to complain, but also to, to, to try to, to resolve or to work with the politicians or work with another uh, people, try to be involved in another uh, colleagues that they are working in a similar situation. I, th I really believe that in culture and in art, we can't think in competition, that we have to think in collaboration. And I, wa I don't want to be not uh, naive or not hippie, I'm not hippie at all, but, uh, but I really believe that, uh, that we have to be in a collaborator collaborative situation. And I really believe in a collaborative uh, production. The, 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 the work that we made with Pablo Marte was really based in this way of working. That It was Pablo, but finally it was Pablo working with Daniel Diaria, with Ivan Gomez, with with uh, Lore Alfaro, and also we try to, to, to work with a, a community of unemployment people, trying to also to, to see, uh, what, but it was not so easy, finally we, we have re not a lot of time to make the work happen in the way that we, we were dreaming to do. But, uh, um, I don't know, and more in a city like Bilbao, that says it's a really small city, so I really believe that it's important to, to, to do things in, in a collaborative uh, uh, way. Can I ask you yes.